Hearing you or someone you love has diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, also called DLBCL, can be overwhelming. It's normal to feel this way, and you're likely to have many questions and concerns. What is DLBCL? Why did I get it? How do you treat it? How will I get through this? Diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, or DLBCL, can happen at any age, but it most often appears in middle age or older people. DLBCL starts when your B cells, a type of white blood cells that normally fight off infection, grow too quickly or too slowly. DLBCL develops in the lymphatic system, which is part of your immune system. It includes your lymph nodes, thymus, liver, spleen, and bone marrow. Bone marrow is the soft inner part of the bone where stem and three main types of blood cells are formed, white blood cells, red blood cells, and platelets. Some people with DLBCL have no symptoms and the disease is picked up on a routine medical examination. When DLBCL symptoms do appear, they can be like other, less serious illnesses. Symptoms may include ongoing tiredness, loss of appetite, pain in your abdomen, cough or chest pain, itchy skin, rash or skin lumps, weight loss of 10% or more, large masses in the neck or stomach, and or painless swelling in one or more lymph nodes. DLBCL is the most common form of a group of blood cancers known as non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, or NHL. DLBCL usually has no known cause. You can't catch it from somebody else, spread it, or prevent it in most cases. After you're diagnosed with DLBCL, your doctor will run tests to determine the best treatment for you. These tests can also help your doctor predict how DLBCL may develop and how you may react to treatment. Tests may include blood tests, bone marrow biopsy, as well as imaging, lab tests, and physical exams to identify the stage of your DLBCL. Identifying the stage of your DLBCL is an important step in planning your treatment but the stage you're at does not determine how well you respond to treatment. Treatment options for DLBCL include chemotherapy, radiation therapy, a stem cell transplant, also known as a bone marrow transplant, and immunotherapy. Chemotherapy uses powerful drugs to destroy fast-growing cancer cells. These drugs can also damage other fast-growing cells that are normal. Your doctor may recommend a procedure called an allogenic bone marrow transplant, or BMT, which replaces damaged bone marrow cells with healthy bone marrow cells from a matched donor. Immunotherapy uses your own immune system to fight a blood cancer. It includes treatments like CAR T cell therapy, and by specific antibody therapy. How well you do in treatment can depend on several factors, including your age and overall health, DLBCL stage, symptoms, and potential long-term effects. Research advances have made DLBCL a manageable disease, and new clinical trials continue to offer hope. Speak to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Canada to learn more. It's important to know that you can better manage your DLBCL and have a better quality of life by communicating with your healthcare team and surrounding yourself with a support network. You're not alone. The Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Canada is here to help you understand DLBCL and navigate the road ahead.